If you are in a phase of your life where nothing is going right and you are frustrated by the people, situations and circumstances, take a pause and focus on your behavior. Is your anger one of the culprit behind all this mess? Remember, if you point one finger at someone, then four fingers are pointing at you. Anger is one of the six negative emotions which are bad for us. These six negative emotions are ego, anger, jealousy, greed, revenge, lust for unwilling or wrong person. Anger is not a primary emotion. Anger is a secondary emotion or reaction. Fear is actually the root cause of anger. So many people live in fear and majority times they make decisions out of fear. People have so many fears like fear of embarrassment, fear of being judged, fear of being rejected, fear of criticism, fear of humiliation, fear of poverty, fear of disease, fear of death and so on. Let's see what is the role of anger and crime. We all get angry from time to time but most of us do not respond to it by committing an act of crime. Some people yell and scream while others may drink alcohol and get drunk. The stable ones among us simply wait and wait a while and cool off. Anger demands action and violence provides a cathartic release. Cases of road rage or other physical violence are fueled by adrenaline released due to anger. Severe cases can cause blind rage leading to crimes of passion. Think of anger as an intoxicant like alcohol that alters the mental state of a person and drives him to commit a terrible act that he would not do under normal circumstances. Majority of domestic abuse, violent acts, murders are committed under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Clearly, alcohol and drugs are like gasoline to anger as they provide fuel for an explosion. Anger or rage is associated with wide range of violent acts including homicide aggravated assault rape domestic violence child abuse bullying torture and even terrorism not to forget the relationship between murder and anger aggressive anger is one of the reason for core crimes in international criminal law alongside genocide crimes against humanity and war crimes why someone gets angry so easily reason lies in their events in their past like people who have experienced traumatic frightening or stressful events sometimes develop post traumatic stress disorder which can lead to angry outbursts substances such as drugs and alcohol which make some people act more aggressively than usual Let's see the effects of anger on mind and body. Justifiable anger can motivate an individual to make positive changes in their life, but suppressed anger can result in long-term destructive consequences to the brain and the body. Short-term effects of anger are anxiety, headache, muscle pain, dizziness, inconsistent breathing, anger may cause further difficulties in our routine tasks long term effects of anger are as everybody knows anger shoots up our bp so eventually angry people may suffer from memory loss stroke relationship issues further it may affect the entire life of an individual mental effects of anger are anger can cause irritability frustration anxiety rage stress guilt feeling of overwhelmed have you observed one simple thing if you show respect to others they will respect you in return if you behave angrily then they will react with anger 
it's all in a, into us what you give is what you receive with chronic anger you can't succeed in your professional nor in your personal life so if you really want to change your circumstances and situations you have to first learn how to respond to the situations in my next video we will see about anger management